What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, family? Welcome to Beyond the Ball with Jonathan Jones. All right. This is our reintroduction and we are excited about it because the passion that I have for student athletes and helping and pouring and nurturing student athletes to help them have success in their lives, it is... I don't know, out of this world, okay? So I couldn't help it, but I had to come back to Beyond the Ball. And what is Beyond the Ball? Ultimately, Beyond the Ball is a show that's geared towards serving and supporting student athletes with stories, with strategies, and providing tangible applications of success for them as well as the people who serve and support them, right? So staff, coaches, everything like that. So here on this show, we're going to do interviews. We're going to just have some topics to where I dive in and break down what I have learned and also different strategies that I've seen utilized and I've seen success from or maybe others have seen success from. And we're going to bring them all to you right here, right now on this show. All right. So now what I want to let you know is as we are rolling this thing out, I've had some conversations with some student athletes as of late, and I know that you all are high performers, right? We're high performers. I know how it goes. And being a high performer, a lot of times, you're the top of the top in your sport. You might even be dominant in your classwork and in your studies as well. But one thing I want you to begin to think about and really take some time with is begin to consider if you are wanting to start something new, maybe you're starting content creation, a content creation journey. Maybe you're in a spot to where you're thinking about starting a business because NIL, name, image, and likeness, has now been booming over the past couple of years, right? I want you to allow yourself to fail. So what, what, am, I, what am I saying? What I'm saying is I want you to give yourself some time, okay? I want you to give yourself time to get good at something new. I want you to give yourself time to elevate in a new area that you haven't necessarily been as invested in as you have been in your sport, maybe in your schoolwork and everything like that. And with that being said, I want to shout out my guy, Justin Stuckley. And I want to shout out Justin. He runs track at uh, the University of Auburn or Auburn University. And Justin first had a YouTube channel, right? The YouTube channel had like 100 and something subscribers, but he started a podcast, Stuck In My Thoughts, tap in, uh, make sure to check him out. I'm gonna put the link for his show down here in the show notes. But Justin has now grown from 130 something subscribers on YouTube to now 500 and something subscribers on YouTube because he's going through the journey and he's given himself time to grow, time to evolve, time to really elevate. So family, I want you to know and understand that there is a level of time that is required for some things to mature, okay? There, there's 18 years, it takes 18 years to be 18 years old. So, so let's always remember that and let's not lose sight of that in our journey and as we're developing, as we're growing and as we're maturing as individuals. But then even further than that, where you are right now, there's some things that you didn't even realize you had an interest in. There, there's areas that you didn't know you were passionate about. And for me, one of the best examples is I didn't know I was passionate about podcasting until I started a podcast. And then I started doing a podcast and interviewing other individuals. And I was like, man, I'm, I'm interested in this thing, right? John, what are you saying? Let me bring it full circle. I want you to learn yourself. Learn. What, what are some hidden talents that you might have had? Shout out to uh, Shiloh Sanders. We now know that he plays the piano. I had no idea that this boy could play the piano this well, this young man, right? I didn't know he could play the piano this well. But he's learned that over time. So we have to make sure that we take time to learn ourselves, to learn our interests, to learn our uncomfortabilities, to learn what are certain things that we may have never realized until we began to invest time outside of your sport, outside of your class. What do you enjoy doing for fun? What's a hobby you have? If you say, I don't know if I have any hobbies, John, well, let's, let, let's take some time and begin to 
to do a little research, do a little digging, and let's begin to assess just so that we know who we are and what we enjoy doing. So we got to learn ourselves. And then the last thing I want you to do, as you begin to learn yourself and learn things you enjoy, learn things that you like doing, you like rocking with, double down on it. Double down on it. I double dog dare you. Okay. And here's why I say that. Okay. So often, so often, it's easy to go surface level on things, right? It, it's easy for us to do things because we're good at them, but we don't like them. We never wanted to mature this talent. We never wanted to go any further than it did. However, when you realize that you're good at something, why not lose yourself in it? If you're good at something and you enjoy doing it, lose yourself in that thing. Because not only are you going to grow that skill set, not only are you going to grow as an individual, but now you're realizing other areas that this exposes you to, other interests that this exposes you to. If you realize that you enjoy reading books and then you begin to read one type of book, this is going to begin to open you up to other types and other genres of books that you can begin to read, that you can begin to enjoy, that you can begin to dive into, all because you realize that this is something that you rock with. So today, my student athlete, I'm going to encourage you to give yourself time. Give yourself time to grow and to develop in things that you might not be comfortable with. Then I want you to take time and then learn yourself. What are uncomfortabilities that you have? What gets you excited? What makes you sad? What are hobbies that you have? Learn what relaxes you, what stresses you out. We need to know these things. And then lastly, we have to double down. When we find something we enjoy, we find something that we rock with, Double down on it. Just like I said, shout out to Shallow Sanders because my man can play the keys. Yeah, he's dominant in football, but he can play the keys. What? I remember in fifth grade, there was a guy who could play the piano. We were on a field trip. He was playing the piano. All the girls got around the piano. I was like, dang, I wish I knew how to play the piano because that was something that drew people to that individual. All right. So make sure to stay connected with the show, Beyond the Ball with JJ on Instagram, and you can find us on YouTube as well. Just type in Beyond the Ball with JJ, and then we'll, we'll pop up. But family, uh, this is Jonathan Jones, and this is Beyond the Ball. I want to let you all know that this is going to be your number one source uh, for student success, student development, and how we can further cultivate and support the student-athletes who need it most. All right, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss the episode. But this is Jonathan Jones signing out.